I will introduce uh, Battalion Chief uh, Lloyd Lawless to uh, briefly give a presentation, recognizing some uh, good Samaritans who uh, are part of our school district. So Chief, it's yours. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Can everybody hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Uh, once again, my name is Lloyd Lawless and I'm the Operations Chief for Grand Spess Fire Rescue. And we're here tonight to honor two of the district's employees that were inspirational in the outcome at a recent structured fire here in Grants Pass. We first wanna thank Grants Pass District 7 Board for allowing us the time up front uh, uh, to honor these two gentlemen. Uh, we would also like to say thank you to all the teachers and administrators for their steadfast work as we maneuver through uh, this pandemic. So tonight, uh, it is our privilege, we want to honor both Kevin Bishop and Brian Hegman. And I would like to uh, go ahead and read off something that was written here. Uh, it kind of tells the, uh, the story that we received uh, of this day. On January 12, 2022, at approximately 1230, there was a structure fire at 1439 Washington Boulevard. Grants Pass Fire Rescue was dispatched and told that the home was on fire and that there were still people inside. Updated information was given that the occupants were now out of the house. 7307, the engine from the Hillcrest Fire Station was the first engine to arrive on scene with a two-story residential structure fire. Flames coming out the front door and windows on the first floor <clears throat> with heavy black smoke showing on the second floor. The fire, fire crews knocked the fire down and moved inside and conducted a primary search and continued to overhaul the fire. It was determined that two employees from the Grants Pass School District were passing by the location and noticed smoke coming from a second story window. They quickly parked their truck and went to the front door and discovered heavy black smoke on the first floor of the structure. The two employees then went to the side of the house where they found a mother with her three-year-old daughter trying to exit from the second story window. The child was dropped to the two men and then the mother jumped down to them as well. If not for the quick action of these two gentlemen, the volume of fire and heated gases on the first floor that quickly advanced to the second floor could have consumed both mother and child. On behalf of Grants Pass Fire Rescue, we would like to honor and say thank you for your life-saving measures. Your selfless act potentially saved the lives of two people. Let me add, that heavy fire involvement on the first floor with a single stairwell to the second floor, uh, no exits to the outside except windows. When a door is opened, it allows air to travel in. And if a window is open upstairs, it allows an absolute flow path of air to advance any heated gases to that second floor. The signs outside of this home did not indicate that there was anybody home. However, the mother and child were upstairs taking a nap. The only way out was actually the second floor window. The interesting part is these two gentlemen were doing their daily work and they noticed something that wasn't right. And it doesn't take special training to do what's right. And so when we, when we hear this and when we see this, and the interesting part is both these gentlemen were not there when I arrived on scene. They had left to continue their duties. The fire department was there taking care of the, the rest of the fire. It was upon their return from their duties coming back, they decided they'd swing by where I ran out in the road and said, hey, I need you to pull over. Were you guys the, the folks that were here just to get their names? So, this is a true testament of, of the employees, the type of employees that you guys have. And these two gentlemen uh, did something very heroic that day. Um, the folks that uh, lived at that residence, uh, they are um, okay. However, there were signs that uh, there was some uh, uh, inhalation of that heavy uh, heated smoke and gas. And we took precautions for that, for those folks. Um, but, I just want to uh, quickly say that from the bottom of our heart, um, the actions that day truly do allow people that could have potentially perished in a fire 
um, you two gentlemen had a heavy hand in, in making that positive for them. So Grand Smith's Fire Rescue has put together a, uh, a certificate and a, and a coin um, that reads, Life-Saving Award, Grants Pass Fire Rescue presents to Kevin Bishop and Brian Hegman, the certificate of appreciation and recognition of your life-saving performance of assisting a mother, child, and their dog from a second story window during the structure fire at their residence on Wednesday, January 12, 2022. Without your efforts, the outcome of these individuals would have been much different. Your willingness and selfless actions to assist is appreciated by all members of our community. And this will be signed Deputy uh, Chief Randy DeLong and Battalion Chief Lloyd Lawless. And gentlemen, the City of Grants Pass and Grants Pass Fire Rescue, thank you. <laughs>